Welcome to the IGL training. As many of you know, Dr. Jarvis has been looking for a replacement airway device for the King LTSD airway for several months now. After extensive literature review, we have decided to go with the IGL airway made by Intersurgical Medical. The IGL airway is a novel and innovative supraglottic airway management device that is made of a medical grade thermoplastic elastomer. It is soft, gel-like, and transparent. The IGL is designed to create a non-inflating and anatomical seal of the airway, therefore avoiding the compression trauma that can occur with inflatable supraglottic airway devices such as the King LTSD airway. Looking at this image, you can see it has many features to it, one of which is a supplemental oxygen port, an integrated bite block, a hook ring for the head strap that is used to secure the tube in place, a buccal cavity stabilizer, an epiglottic rest, and an integrated gastric channel which will allow you to place a gastric tube. Here is a cross-section view of what the IGL airway looks like once it has been inserted into the patient. Notice that it adapts to the oropharyngeal curvature of the airway. Again, notice that there are no inflatable cuffs. In this video, CPR is in progress and as you can see, compressions do not need to be interrupted while the IGL is being placed. Please remember that endotracheal intubation via the King Vision is still the preferred method of securing the airway in all patients. As you can see, the IGL is inserted with the distal end seated in the esophagus. You can also see that the IGL is seated directly over the glottic opening, allowing for oxygenation and ventilation to occur. Superior to the glottic opening is the epiglottic rest. This structure allows the epiglottis to remain out of the way. At the distal end of the IGL is the opening for the nasogastric tube to pass into the esophagus and into the stomach. There is also an integrated bite block to prevent the patient from biting on the ET tube should they begin to wake up. IGL placement in the adult. Step 1. Grasp the lubricated IGL firmly along the bite block. Position the device so that the IGL cuff is facing towards the chin of the patient. The patient should be in a sniffing position with the head extended and the neck flexed. The chin should be gently pressed down before proceeding to insert the eye gel. Introduce the leading soft tip into the mouth of the patient in a direction towards the hard palate. Guide the device downwards and backwards along the hard palate with a continuous yet gentle push until a definitive pressure or resistance is felt. At this point, the tip of the airway should be located into the upper esophageal opening and the cuff should be located against the laryngeal framework. The incisor should be resting on the bite block area of the tube. At this point, you may begin to ventilate the patient. Notice that the elbow connector is being used. The IGL restless pack contains a strap that is used to secure the IGL in place. You can also place an NG tube through the dedicated port on the side of the IGL. As mentioned earlier, there is also a supplemental oxygen port that can be used if needed.
IGL placement in a child. The same steps should be followed when placing the IGL in a child patient. The only difference is that there is not an included strap to secure the device, nor is there a supplemental oxygen port. Tape should be used as shown in this video. There is also an NG port on the pediatric sized eye gel. Also notice that the elbow connector fits the pediatric eye gel device. Eye gel placement in an infant. As with the adult and child, the airway is inserted in the same fashion. Also, the infant size eye gel does not come with a securing strap nor does it have the supplemental oxygen port. Tape must also be used to secure the tube. Also note that there is not an NG port for the infant sized eye gel. As you can see, the elbow connector also fits on the infant sized eye gel. One of the reasons for selecting the eye gel is that it comes in multiple sizes. It comes in pediatric, child, and adult sizes. The sizes that we will be carrying in our system are sizes 1, 1 and a half, 2, 2 and a half, 3, 4, and 5. Eye gel sizes 3, 4, and 5 come in what is called a RESIS, short for resuscitation, pack. This pack includes the IGL airway, a package of water-soluble lubricant, and the strap needed to secure the airway. It also includes the hooks needed to secure the straps as well as the supplemental oxygen port. Size 3, 4, and 5 are typically used in adult patients.